Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Unbluster, and today we are taking a look at more Magic the Gathering content. Why? Because I want to make Magic the Gathering content. And this is the Secret Lair Drop Series, Seb McKinnon Foil Edition. And um, I just want to thank one of my friends, John, for giving this to me, essentially as like a birthday present, which isn't really until September, but... Thank you again. Uh, I feel like I at least got him back with uh, giving him another card that's in foil. So I think it's pretty okay, but I think he gave me a little bit of a better present than what I got him. So I still owe you one, John. Um, if you're watching this, I'll probably get you something else because this is a pretty good thing. Um, at the time um, when this was coming out, uh, essentially, I was focused on putting money into the stock market and I still have a lot of, uh, you know, positions on that. Um, and I wasn't really buying this stuff at the time, but I really felt like I should have because it's like, um, it's done by one of my favorite artists right now, um, Seb McKinnon, essentially one of the best artists in Magic the Gathering at the moment. And yeah, this is a foil edition, um, a bit of a pricey one. And we're gonna open it. I want to get the cards because at some point I want to use them <laughs> at least in one of my decks um, especially the damnation that comes in this set so thank you again Mr. John you are a gentleman and a scholar here you go secret lair drop series these are essentially direct to consumer products most of the time when you buy Magic the Gathering product. Um, they are sent to distributors, uh, distributors, and then the distributors sell them to shops. But these ones in particular, instead are sold directly from Magic the Gathering themselves to the people who buy them, which is us directly, at least, or me, like consumers of the product. It looks like it's got some of this going on as well, but let's see if I could just remove this paper which is probably going to be nearly impossible to put back on but I'm not going to bother because really all I care about is just the box and what the cards are inside it so I don't know if I'll take them I think I might be I might be taking the cards out oh so here you go artist series Seb McKinnon foil edition 2020 wizards of the coast Made in USA, huh? Maybe the box is made in USA. Because I don't know where the cards are made in. Let's see. Does it open like this? Oh. So it was this way. Alright. So. This already tore. Which actually kind of sucks. Um, it was supposed to just be like a pop. But it, for some reason, mine was still kind of holding it in place. But Alright. Sorry, you guys, I had to cut, but this is what it looks like. It's a series of just a few cards. So this is the Swamp. Swamp. Right here. Just a basic land. Let's see if we could focus on the art. That's a little too shiny. Oh, there's an additional card in there, huh? I wonder what that is. Never actually opened these things before. Something extra included. Ah, uh, okay. It's just another copy of the swamp right there. So here you go, guys. Look at that. One of the best things that Seb McKinnon does is depict a really, really heavy sense of, like, dread or on this particular card the swamp more melancholy in the art so let's look look at that they're like you're looking at that tree that dead tree there's that figure at the bottom you're like what is he doing in there you can tell how bright his coat is in comparison to the rest of what the swamp looks like so it's crazy Absolutely love this Seb McKinnon art. There's this 
tiny little bird up there, you're like, oh, what does that mean? Is that some sort of symbology that carries with a card? All right. <clears throat> so this one. There you go. It's kind of an ordeal opening this stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's take this out as well. Most of these cards later on after this video, I'm going to be double sleeving and I'm probably going to be putting the swamp somewhere in one of my decks. Uh, right there. So let's first look at the swamp. We've already looked at that one earlier. It looks like they gave us a second copy. So let's take that out. Ooh, look at this. Absolutely love this one. The art on Sower of Temptation. Crazy. Look at that. You're like, what is that thing doing to that guy? <laughs> so the knight, as you can see, is in the swamp. There's flavor text at the bottom saying, Moth to my light. Seize resistance. Hand over the reins to your mind. So basically, the, the flavor text talks about... Um, what this figure is that's doing on top of the knight essentially because what the card does is that it enters a battlefield gain control of target creature for as long as sower of temptation remains on the battlefield so yeah so it's gaining control of the knight essentially trying to peer into its mind and gain control of it essentially resting control of uh his mind and be able to tell him to do what she wants him to do so very nice i love the art you could tell it's like really sinister but like there's a little sense of like she looks sort of a little bit innocent in what she's doing but i don't know maybe it's actually good for him that she's gaining control of his mind and this is the card i was talking about earlier the damnation card <clears throat> right there just some weird stuff going on in the art lots of things that you can look at the two different horses one is skeletal there's lots of little figures on the back on the bottom you're like what are they doing and what is happening there's this like dark sphere right there it seems like um, something bad or explosive is going on. You can tell in the background there's the figure of the Sower of Temptation. And from what I have been um, looking up at it, so let's look at the flavor text too. This is a good one. Um, it says, All deeds once committed, repaid now in kind. So, essentially, the figure on the upper right, that's still the Sower of Temptation. It's looking into the mind of the knight essentially going through what he is thinking and what has been basically going through his mind um, he's I'm guessing he's done a lot of misdeeds he has a lot of regrets and you can see this is sort of a visualization of the stuff that's been um, eating through his mind or his soul essentially technically also through his heart you know, when you've done a lot of things that you regret in your life, sometimes you feel like there's a lot of heavy things that are on your shoulders that uh, this is sometimes what you feel inside. I think that's probably what they were trying to express in the art. So yeah, a very cool card. This is probably going to go in one of my decks. Absolutely love it. And here you go, the next one. Enchanted Evening. This is probably also going to go in one of my decks. Um, Blue and white, completely different from the Damnation card that was being shown earlier. Oh, it says an, it's an enchantment. All permanents are enchantments in addition to their other types. And let's look at the um, flavor text. Tempest ends and water stills, gently reinventing the shape of all things. So from what I've been told, or at least what Seb McKinnon himself has been saying, is that like... The interpretation of the flavor text is essentially um, the Sora of Temptation 
herself the figure from that um, second or the other card. Um, basically just went into his mind and essentially retransforming the knight, trying to give him some sort of rest. So now that he doesn't have to think about all of the stuff that he's done and it, on all the things that he's done from before, whatever he regrets, it's fine now. He doesn't have to worry about those. She, she can at least take over and at least ease his mind by at least taking over it. Kind of a grim way to solve a problem of at least, you know, what you've been thinking. Now you don't have to think about it anymore because I'm going to take all of your memories. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the last part of the story of Enchanted Evening right there. So there you have it, guys. This has been my unboxing and I guess overview of the Secret Lair Drop Sub McKinnon Foil Edition. It really only comes with four different cards but I absolutely love each and every one of these cards. Uh, Solar of Temptation I probably won't be using but the Swamps for sure somewhere. And then the Damnation and of course the Enchanted Evening. So um, to my friends that know that I play Magic Maybe watch out for this card at some point or the damnation as well. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and, and share. And thanks for watching. Uh, go play Magic.